Hey, you guys, come on in. Um, I'm praying if you are watching this as a rerun that the power of God will hit you as if you were live with us. Come on, I'm going to wait for Facebook to come on in, people of God, and build me an audience. Rabba Koshaya, come on in. I know it's the middle of the day, but I have a word really quickly. Come on, that I want to drop on someone, encourage someone with. I'm going to wait for Facebook to come in and build me a audience hello everyone how are you let me start inviting some people to this live also if you guys can come on in and just begin to tag and share and invite other people the quicker we can build an audience the quicker come on i can release this word because i know it's needed hello everyone hello everyone come on in tag 10 people as you come in come on do what you see at the bottom of the screen drop in the comment section come on at everyone at followers at highlights i haven't been on in a minute you guys, so I pray, hallelujah, that someone needs to be blessed by this word. Just give me a second, people of God, to uh, tag some people to this live also. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in, everyone, and begin to tag and share. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just give me a second to build a audience really quickly. I am praying that everyone is having a great day. I'm praying that everyone, you know what I mean, still have the strength to keep on keeping on um, in the midst of everything the enemy is trying to throw at them. Because what I am learning, people of God, is that the enemy wants to do any and everything to see you break, to see you give in, to see you broken. Come on in, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just give me a second. I'm tagging some people to this live also. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give me a second, everyone. Hello, everyone. Could I get y'all to come in tagging and sharing? Come on. May the Lord begin to bless everyone who is just simply obedient by tagging and sharing. Y'all just don't know that's the quickest way to put a seed in the ground. Y'all give me a second. I'm, I'm looking down, but I'm building an audience really quickly. Hello, everyone. Come on, everybody. Drop hello in the comment section so I can know. That you guys are on, you guys are alerting, you guys are tuned in also. I'm telling you this why you can't let your husband drive your car, man. You let your husband drive your car and he be turning off all the AC vents and everything like that. Give me a second. Yes, how are you? How are you guys? How are you? How are you doing? Oh, see, he got it on the foot. That's why it ain't shooting out. Okay. All right. Now we got it. Come on in, everyone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shout out to you, Demetria, for your obedience. Y'all, come on. It's taking a minute to build an audience because I haven't been on in a minute. Let me also send this video um, to a few people inboxes. Hello. Come on. As you come in, I need you to just drop in the comment section. Hello. So I can know that you guys are on um, and you guys are tuned in. I want to bless somebody with this word really quickly, and then I'm going to let everybody go ahead and go about their day. How are you, Shantries? Come on. Come on. Come on. Alona, God bless you, woman of God, for coming in, tagging, and sharing. Come on in, everybody. Just give me a second. Give me a second. I'm also uh, uh, inviting some people to this live, but even with me inviting some people to this live, y'all give me a second. I'm using my other phone. Even with me inviting some people to this live, after I finish sending this invite, I'm going to go ahead and get started on TikTok so we won't drag this thing out. But I do feel that there is somebody watching that need a word. Just give me a second, you guys. Y'all will see the numbers moving because I'm sending out some invites. How are you guys? I'm praying everybody is having a great day. Y'all come on in. Come on in and begin to tag and share very quickly. Come on, come on. The quicker you help me invite, the quicker we can get started and the quicker we can begin to let God be God on today. But there is a word. There is a word. And as God gave me this word on today, it began to bless me. Let me go ahead and start TikTok also. Y'all give me a second so we can go ahead and we can get started. Let me go ahead and pin this up, you guys. Just give me a second um, on TikTok also. Give me a second. May the blessings of the Lord run down 
Um, everybody who is simply being obedient by just tagging and sharing. Okay, I got TikTok going also. Come on in, everybody. Shout out to you, Trinette, for coming in, tagging and sharing. Come on, Maisha. Come on, God bless you for tagging and sharing. We're building an audience. I'm also over on TikTok. So just give me about two more minutes and I promise you, I'm getting ready to go in. If you are just now, people of God, tuning in, hear me and hear me well. Today's message, people of God, is watch this. My potential pulled me out the pit. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're, we're, we're building an audience really quickly um, over on TikTok. My potential pulled me out the pit. If you are just now tuning in, let me say this. It's not by coincidence that you are on this live. I know it's taking a minute to build an audience. It's because I haven't been on. Everybody on TikTok who is coming in, if you can do me a favor and just hit the share button really quickly so we can go ahead and let God begin to have his way. Come on in and just begin to get share. I have a message that is going to bless somebody and it's going to set somebody free. Because there are a lot of you that are watching right now. Hear me and hear me well, people of God. And it seems like your best uh, is just not enough. I'm talking to some people who is watching right now. Uh, you say, I'm trying my best uh, to get my life on track. Uh, I'm talking to some people right now who is watching and you say, watch this. Uh, I tried my best uh, to become a better me. Uh, I'm talking to some people right now uh, who is watching the Rebecca Shire that don't mind saying, I'm trying my best, mighty God, to stay focused. But it seems like, watch this, it's not enough. If you are tuned in, the message that the Lord is giving me, watch this, for you, the one that's watching this video on today, it's my potential, watch this, have pulled me out the pit. The Lord say, watch this, watch this, watch this. The Lord say, at one point, everybody was crazy about those PPP loans. I want, I'm, oh, I'm finna bless somebody. I want everybody to drop in the comment section, PPP, PPP. Baby, let me tell you something. The, 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 the pandemic came through and it destroyed a lot, my God. But it also, if we can be honest, opened a lot of doors, my God. There was funding that was released. People were able to buy our houses, you know, without all the stress. Everybody drop in the comment section, PPP. The, whoa, the Lord is saying the same way, my God. I released the PPP money, watch this, to help bring some people, watch this, out of struggle, out of this and out of that. God is saying, watch this, in the spiritual realm, the only way to come out of everything you are going through, watch this, is to apply, my God, who am I speaking to? Your PPP. I said, God, what are you talking about? What, what, what do you mean that these people of God got to apply the PPP. He said the same way, triple A, uh, roadside assistance. Hold on, you guys. Sorry, my husband was calling. The same way triple A assistance, watch that, when you're broke down on the side of the road, will begin to come through for you. They'll come change your tire. They'll put gas in the car. Come on, they'll tell you if you're broken down. God is saying when the enemy is attacking and you find yourself in a broken place or a broken state, you got to apply, watch this, the PPP. What do you mean? I just said today's message is my potential pulled me out the pit. Potential pulled pit. My potential pulled me out the pit. There are some of you hear me and hear me well, people of God. The Lord is saying this. You are looking for help in this situation that you are in. It's just a you and God situation. Somebody put in the comment section, it's me and God. I've tried everything. I've tried to get help from this person. I've, I've tried to get help from this uh, business and organization. Come on, I've tried to get help from the church. But there are some people, people of God, there are some situations where it's going to be nothing but you and God. There are some fights, some valleys you got to walk through. I know you want to take others along. I know, watch this, you're depending on other strength. But God is saying in this season, this pit, my God, that you are in. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm in a pit. 
I'm in a pit. Because let me tell you what I am learning, people of God. When you are a strong person, you don't like to admit, watch this, that sometimes I'm in a bind I can't get myself out of. When you are a strong person, people of God, you don't like to admit that sometimes I'm in a situation it seems like that is done for. Come on, oh Jesus Christ. Sometimes we get in situations, people of God, where we don't want to admit I'm falling and I can't get up. But God is saying it's only your potential that will pull you out the pit. Some attacks, my God, is a me and God thing. I love my best friend, but baby, this journey I'm on, it's me and God. I love my husband, but this journey I'm on, it's me and God. I love my children, but this thing I'm going through, it's me and God. And God began to tell me, there are some of you that are watching. The problem is, people of God, you don't know the potential you carry. I said, God, what do you mean by that? The potential I carry. Watch this, people of God. Hear me and hear me well. There are some of you that are watching. If you really begin to tap in to the little bit of potential you got left. Because some of us, watch this. All we got is a drop left of strength. Do I got somebody who can put in the comment section? I barely got any strength. Do I got somebody who don't mind being honest and don't mind saying, lately my life ain't been peaches and cream. Lately, watch this. People wouldn't want to walk a mile in my shoes. It's only your potential that will pull you out of the pit. What do you mean, Dr. Shakira McFadden? I ain't in a pit. The pit can be your health. The pit can be your relationship. The pit can be your finances. The pit can be your living situation. My God, the pit, people of God, can be the court case. It's whatever you are facing that it seems like it's no way out. It's different. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me explain the difference in a hole in a pit. Baby, listen, when, when, when it's a little hole, I'm, 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 I'm in, you, you can walk and come on, it might cause you to trip and slip, but you get back up. But baby, when you fall into a pit, that means you went multiple feet down. If somebody don't throw you a rope, you'll find yourself sitting there. If somebody don't come and rescue you, you'll find yourself sitting there. So some of you, the situations you are in, the Lord is saying huh? the only way out of it is your potential god i'ma hold on to my potential huh? when i barely got any strength huh? god i'ma hold on to my potential huh? when there's nobody backing me huh? god i'ma hold on to my potential huh? when it seems like it's no way out huh? god i'ma hold on to my potential huh? when they're saying i need this and this and this to do this and this and this huh? and god is saying huh? when i say potential i need somebody huh? to catch this in the spiritual realm huh? your potential is your faith huh? if i just believe i can come out of it huh? I'm already out. Somebody put in the comment section, I got faith. Come on, don't just watch me. Don't be on here looking. I'm talking to some people who say I needed this live. In the middle of the day, I was just about to tap out. I was just about to walk off the job. I was just about to turn my phone on Do Not Disturb and tell everybody to leave me alone. Come on, I'm talking to some people who are watching that say, God, you telling me to hold on to my potential. But if I can be honest with you, I barely got any left. And God is saying this season, hear me and hear me well. The very thing that you are going through. God, I've been alone all my life. Everybody I love done walked out on me. God is saying, hold on to the potential. Oh, Jesus. God, I've been struggling all my life. I'm tired of never having enough. I'm tired of having to do this and having to do that. And God is saying, I hear you. But daughter and son, all I need you to do is hold on to your potential. There are some of you that are watching and you're saying on today, God, God, I'm, I'm, I'm so tired. I'm tired of the children. Come on. I'm tired of all the stress. I'm tired of this world. And God is saying, I hear you. But all I need you to do is hold on to your potential. Because let me tell you something, people of God. If you got the potential to pray, if you got the potential to fight, if you got the potential to bounce back, if you got the potential to not give up, the enemy mighty God know you got a chance of winning. 
Somebody drop in the comment section. I still got a chance uh, to that person who's dropping the tear emojis over on TikTok. Uh, quitting is not an option. Uh, I just said to you, uh, and I need somebody to catch this, people of God, uh, in the spiritual realm. Uh, hear me and gear me well. It's only your potential that'll pull you out the pit. Uh, the Lord is saying, stop looking for somebody to throw you a rope. I, God know that you six feet under. He know that Rebecca you're walking around every day looking good, but you feel like you're dead. You feel like nothing you do is enough. You feel like all the trying, all the cry. Oh, I'm going to say that again because that just get me in the spirit. All the trying, my God, and all the crying, my God, it's still not enough. Do you know you can get up every day, people of God? Breathe in the air. Get up every day. Go about your day and still feel like you dead. Still feel like you down. Still feel like you ain't going nowhere in life. Still feel like you stuck. Who am I speaking to? You ought to break in the comment section. Sometimes I feel stuck. And God is saying, you're trying to come out the pit the wrong way. Only your potential will pull you out the pit. The very thing that makes you feel like your head is below water. The very thing, people of God, that make Rebecca Shire make you feel like, who am I speaking to? Like you are already defeated. God is saying, hold on to the potential. I got the potential, my God, to get back up again. So what I'm saying, people of God, is, yeah, devil, you might knock me down, yeah, devil, you you might hit me where it hurt because you you attacking my children. You might hit me where it hurt because you 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 knocking my finances down. You might hit me where it hurt because you know what I'm saying. I, I, it's looking like I'm in another failed relationship. You might hit me where it hurt because it seems like Shia, Who am I speaking to? I'm going under. But what you don't know, it's even in the midst of my tears. I'm holding on to a promise. Even in the midst of me going through. Huh? I'm holding on to my potential. Huh? And God is saying, I placed you in the pit for a reason. Jonah, people of God, the Bible says he had to be swallowed by a whale. I imagine myself uh, being swallowed by a whale. Huh? The first thing I begin to say, people of God, is uh, I'm sure he felt claustrophobic. Huh? I don't care how big the well is. Huh? Listen, if you ain't never been to jail, baby, you won't understand. Huh? I'm talking to some people who know what it's like huh, to be claustrophobic. Huh? I'm talking to some people who know what it's like huh, to feel like the walls are caving in on you. Huh? The Bible says that Jonah was a rubbical sire. He was swallowed, my God, huh, by the well. Huh? And God did not watch this. Huh? Allow Jonah to be swallowed by the whale to punish him. God, Rebecca Sire, allowed Jonah to be swallowed by the whale. Watch this to bring up his potential. Jonah didn't know he had the potential to speak a word over a city and things will shift. There are some of you don't understand the potential that big old mouth you got carried. Jesus Christ, I said what I said, because we'll use our mouths for the wrong thing. We'll use our mouths to say I love you to a person who don't love us back. We'll use our mouths, my God, to tear somebody down. We'll use our mouths to cuss and go off and show somebody we ain't nothing to play with. But we don't understand the potential in our mouths to speak of something in the atmosphere and it changes. So the Bible says that Jonah was swallowed by a whale and God allowed Jonah to be swallowed by a whale so that Jonah can see the potential that's in him in this whale. I'm sure Jonah felt cluttered. He felt caved in. He felt like things were coming in on him. In this well, people of God, I'm sure it was dark. Tell me what well you know. My God got the light on inside. Sometimes, who can I bless with this? God will place you in a dark space. Jesus Christ, uh, all by yourself, uh, so you can see the potential in yourself. Uh, if your friend's always helping you, uh, you won't know the potential you got. Uh, if somebody always pulling you out the pit, uh, you don't know the potential you carry. Uh, let me tell you, when the, when the pandemic hit, people of God, 
I ain't never seen so many people gifts. I seen people cooking. What? Selling plates, doing what they had to do. Baby, I didn't even know you can cook. You always going out to eat. I seen people doing lashes, people doing nails. I'm telling you, I, I, I learned, watch this, the secrets people had within when they are put in situations to break them down. If you are in a dark place right now, if you are in a dark space right now, it's because God is trying to enlighten your potential. Today's message, if you are just now tuned in, people of God it's my potential pulled me out the pit my potential pulled me out of that dark place my potential pulled me out of living paycheck to paycheck my potential pulled me out of depression because I, I never gave up even when I only had this much strength that I left I, I, I kept the potential watch this to succeed I am not telling you hear me and hear me well people of God not to break down because even strong people have moments where they want to throw in the towel what I am saying is while you are down don't lose your potential. If we think about a pit, people of God, when you're down in it, who am I speaking to? Rabbi Koshaya. I, I hear the Lord saying, I'm telling you, it's not by coincidence that you are on this live right now. This is the word you needed, Rabbi Koshaya, to keep on going. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I need you to hear me and hear me well. The Lord is saying, you are looking for everybody else to throw you a rope and rescue you. You are disappointed. Watch this. Because they never showed up to the pit to rescue you. And God is saying, watch this. The rope was inside your belly. The rope was in your mouth. Let me get a little bit deeper than that. Meaning you got the potential to change your situation. I don't know what you're going through. But even in the midst of the delay, you speak. Watch this. What you want to see. Even in the midst of struggling financially. You speak what you want to see. Even in the midst of praying for your children. You speak. What you want to see. Even in the midst of going through it in your body. You speak what you want to see. Even in the midst of the constant denials. You speak what you want to see. My potential. Pulled me out of the pit. And the thing, people of God, about being in the, in the, in the pit, watch this, because I'm, I'm going to hurry up and get off, is it don't feel good. God say, watch this, everything ain't supposed to feel good. Everything ain't supposed to be peaches and cream. Everything ain't supposed to go the way you want it to go. If you never go through anything, how are you going to learn to be strong? We want everything handed to us. We always want to live our best life. And God is saying, if I don't give you any challenges, you won't know the potential you have. The reason you are being challenged at this very moment, people of God, is because God is trying to show you your potential. Say it again, because somebody might have missed it. The reason you are being challenged right now is because the Lord is trying to show you your potential. I'm talking to everybody over on TikTok. I'm talking to everybody over on Facebook. The reason you are being challenged is because the Lord is trying to show you your potential. My potential is what pulled me out of the pit. And the reason the Lord wants you to do it, watch this, is so nobody else get the glory for it. You'll be able to go back and say, I remember the time I was depressed. I remember the time I was suicidal. I remember the time I was broke, barring and begging. I remember the time I was heartbroken. I remember the time I wanted to give up. I remember the time everybody turned their back on me. I remember the time the doctor said this. I remember the time the judge said this. I remember the time. Somebody drop in the comments, in, in the comment section, I remember the time. I don't know who needs to hear this on today, but watch this. It's only your potential that can pull you out the pit. It's only your potential, Rabbi Koshaya, that can pull you out the pit. Watch this. Psalms chapter 40, verse 1 through 3. I want everybody to drop that in the comment section. I'm dropping one scripture on you. That's it. Psalms chapter 40, verse 1 through 3. 
I'm telling you, baby, when everybody was getting those PPPs, it was helping people out. People needed that money in the middle of a pandemic. And watch this. It's your potential. Hear me. If you hold on to them three Ps I gave you, my potential pulled me out the pit. If you hold on to them three Ps, watch this. It's going to help you the same way. Psalms chapter 40 verse 1 through 3 says this. And I'm reading it from the Message Bible. I waited and waited on God. At last he looked up and finally, watch this, he said, Oh, Jesus Christ. I am here. Watch this. It says, he lifted me out of the ditch. He lifted me out of the pit. He pulled me from the deep mud. The Bible says this, he stood me up on a rock to make sure I wouldn't slip again. I don't know who needs to hear this message, but watch this. The potential you have is about to have the Lord pull you out of that situation and place you on a rock where you'll never slip again. You'll never be this broke again. Somebody just keep dropping the word never in the comment section. Come on. I want you to feel this in your spirit. Come on. Never, never, never. The Bible says where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. I can't be there to hold your hand. So I need you to tap in right now. Just drop never, 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 never. I'll never be this broke again. I'll never be un this unhappy in my relationship again. Come on. Who is this for? I'll never go through it in my business again. Come on, who am I speaking to? I'll, I'll never have to take this much medication to be healed again. Come on, who am I speaking for? I'll never get this many doors closed in my face again. I'll never be denied again. Come on, who am I speaking to? I'll never let people use me this much again. Come on, who am I speaking to? I'll never let people run my blood pressure up the way it's been uh, at again. Come on, I'll never ever forget who, I'm, who I am in Christ again. I'll never forget the potential I carry again. I'll never ever be back in a place where I got to depend on somebody else to be happy again. Come on, put never, 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 never. I'll never ever let nobody treat me like I'm the scum of the earth again. I'll never. Psalms 1, Psalms 40, verse 1 through 3 says, I waited and waited on God. At last, he finally, watch this, my God listened. Who am I speaking to? He lifted me out of the ditch. Ditch. He lifted me out of the pit. He pulled me up from the mud. He stood me up on a rock to make sure I would never slip. If God is making sure I will never slip again, watch this. I don't need the help from others. There are some of you that have been in a pit. Hear me and hear me well. And you looking for everybody else to throw you the rope. And God is saying you've been in the pit this long. Nobody showed up to rescue you because watch this. I've given you the potential to rescue yourself. God is saying your mouth can change the atmosphere. You stuck down in this situation. But all you got to do is have the potential to pray. Never would I let the enemy break me down again. Never would I give somebody the keys to drive me crazy. No, Jesus Christ. Somebody got to be feeling me on that. Never. Would I allow you to think you better than me? Never would I feel I got to chase down every lie told on me. Ne mm. Never. The Lord is saying, watch this. Your potential will pull you out the pit. The Lord is saying you need the pit. Watch this. To get you to the place you're going to. If the Lord hadn't put you in a dark place, you will never be able to identify your potential. Who am I speaking to? If the Lord didn't let the bills pile up, you will never, oh Jesus Christ, be able to understand your hustle. If the Lord didn't let the person break your heart, you will never realize that you were the prize from the beginning. You are the table. You ain't got to, the Lord is saying, you ain't got to go into this relationship or remind the person, I did this for you. I did that for you. I bought this to the table. I bought that to the table. You ain't have this without me. You wouldn't be this. One. No, 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 baby. You are the table. Nothing can even be brought to the table without the table. You are the table. I will never get back to a place. Watch this. Where I'm that low again because of my potential. Because of my potential. 
You got the potential to overcome this thing that is breaking you. You got You got the potential to be everything they said you wouldn't be. You got the potential to change the state you are in at the moment. I don't care if you homeless. I don't care if you carless. You got the potential to do it. Stop looking for everybody to throw you the rope. The rope ain't coming. And you know why the rope ain't coming to bring you up out the pit? Because God has already placed, watch this, the potential inside your belly for you to do it. If everybody keep helping you out of that dark space, you'll never know what you carry. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm an atmosphere changer. You'll never know what you carry. So God has not allowed the enemy to beat you down and place you in the pit to break you. He's allowed all the attacks, people of God, to come. Watch this. Just so you can realize what you carry. Don't give up in the midst of a storm. The Bible says, people of God, in Psalms 40, that this time when the Lord, play, oh Jesus Christ, when the Lord pulls you out this time, he's going to place you a rock to make sure you never slip again. God said this time, when I pull you out the pit, I'm going to place you on a rock to make sure you never slip again. What does that say? That means that the Lord know we're going to fall. That means that the Lord know we're going to be attacked. That means that the Lord knows the enemy is going to knock us down from time to time. But he said this time around, when I pull you out, I'm going to place you on a rock to make sure you never fall again. I'm going to, oh Jesus Christ. You got the potential to make it. You got the potential to keep going. I love you too, Wanda. You got the potential to, Shire, to be anything you want to be. It's not by coincidence that you guys are on here in the middle of the day. A lot of people, they're going to catch this live later when they get off. But this was meant for you, the one that's watching it at this very moment. Today's message was, my potential pulled me out the pit. Not my best friend. Not my husband. Come on, who is this for? Not your significant other. Not your parents. Not the church. I said what I said. It was my potential to keep fighting when I was down. It was my potential not to give up when I was broke. Who am I speaking to? It was my potential to keep going when the enemy was attacking my household. It was my, my potential to keep applying for it when they kept telling me no. It was my potential to dance in the hallway when every door was closed in my face. I don't know what you're going through. But the Lord is saying, watch this. This time around, you won't slip. You won't slip back to being broke. You won't slip back into depression. You won't slip back into using drugs or using alcohol to numb the pain. You won't, you won't slip back into being the old you. That you already leveled up from. You won't slip back into having to go to a relative's house again. Because you lost your place. No, no, no. God is saying this time around when you come out of the pit. When I pull you out. This thing is a you and God thing. The help you're used to getting. It ain't going to work in this season. Because this time around. It's a you and God thing. God is saying this time around. When I pull you out. Who am I speaking to? Who am I speaking to? This time around, when I pull you out, Rabbi Koshaya, I'm going to, mighty God, I'm going to place you on a rock where you will never slip again. God is not allowing the enemy to attack you. Hear me, hear me well, because I get to get off. God is not allowing the enemy to attack you. Watch this. For no reason. You're being attacked, people of God. Hear me and hear me well. You're being attacked. Watch this. Watch this. Because God is trying to show you the potential that's within you. You have the skills that are necessary to change the situation. You. Not your praying mama. Not the church. Not your best friend you sit on the phone telling all your problems to. 
not your significant other you lay down in pillow talk with. This a you and God thing. This attack, people of God, is between you and God. Only you and God can get you out of this. You cannot give up in the middle of a situation that you were, watch this, orchestrated to win. You cannot give up in the middle of a situation that you were supposed to be the winner in. Thank you for all the gifts on TikTok. You cannot give up, watch this people of God, in a situation the devil knew he didn't have a chance against you in. Some of y'all, the reason the enemy is winning is because not only have you given up, not only have you getting give, got, gotten tired, not only have you breaking down, not only have you thrown in the towel, but watch this. You don't even use your potential. I want somebody to put in the comment section, I still got potential. Today's message, people of God, watch this, was my potential pulled me out the pit. Nobody else did. <laughs> my potential to keep a sane mind while in a dark place pulled me out of the pit. My potential to take the last $5 I had to make a meal for me and my children. A meal for me and my children pulled me out of the pit. My, my potential to, to, to get in the mirror every day and look at myself and say, I am enough. I am beautiful. I do deserve the best. In the middle of my, my broken relationship. Watch this. Pulled me out of the pit. My potential. Rebecca to, to flip burgers at McDonald's or get out there and do Uber Eats and do whatever I had to do to make an ends meet even though I was embarrassed. Mighty God, uh, it humbled me and it pulled me, my God, out of the pit. Uh, my potential to have to lay on somebody else's couch. Uh, who am I speaking to when I know uh, I deserve my own keys? Uh, it, 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 I'm gonna show you. That uh, pulled me out of the pit. Uh, my potential uh, to help somebody who betrayed me. Uh, here me and gear me well it, 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 it pulled me out of the pit uh, my potential to do things that I didn't even know I could do pulled me out of the pit so the Lord is saying I'm not punishing you I don't got you in this dark place to to, to, to make people laugh at you because it, it looked like you're losing everything but your mind no 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 I'm placing you in this dark place I'm allowing you to go in this pit so you can see the potential you had. The Lord didn't allow Jonah to be swallowed by the big whale to, 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 to teach him and to punish him. No, he put him in this dark place so he can get focused. Some of y'all, the enemy allowing y'all to go through so y'all can get focused because truth be told, you've been all over the place. You've been working, working, working. You've been, you've been trying to make sure everybody good but you. You, you just up living life every day. Nothing is coming from it. Still stuck in the same place. Every time you get two steps forward, you take five back. And the Lord is saying, I'm requiring more of you. This is what you want to do for the next 30 years of your life. Work, work, work. Just enough to get by. This is what you want to do for the next 30 years of your life. Be in a broken relationship, but on social media, make it like it's all good. No, no, no. I want to be loved for real, for real. I remember at one point in my marriage, I had to tell my husband that stop. No, stop playing with me. Stop. I don't want to be just in this marriage just to say we've been married for 20 years. No, no, no. I want to be loved for real. I, I want the sex to be bomb for real. I don't, I don't fake it to make it. One thing about my followers, they know that I'm going to get on social media and I'm going to tell what's going on. No, 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 in my marriage. I don't play like that because marriage is serious for me. It's so many people living a facade. It's fake. I don't want to be happy only on social media. No, I want to be happy. Somebody put in the comments and say, I want to be happy in real life. I, I want to be, I want to be happy in real life. I want to be happy if I'm on my job. I, I want to be happy if I'm in my business. I, I want to be happy when I go to the doctor. I want to leave with, you know, knowing that 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 that, that my body is whole. I, I want to be happy in my ministry. I want to be happy in my friendships. I, I want to be happy for real. I want to be happy every time I take a key and walk into my, my house. I don't want to be miserable. 
I'm talking about real happiness. We got to stop. We got to stop. Some of y'all are in the pool, in, in the pit. The Lord is saying you're in the pit because you're faking it to make it. No. And then you break it down behind closed doors. No. My potential pulled me out of the pit. I was talking to, you know, my daughter. She's getting ready to start her own clothing business. And the thing, let me tell you about my daughter. I have, I have four kids. I don't know who this is going to be for, but I pray it blesses somebody. I have four kids, right? Three of them are mine. One of them is my bonus child. My bonus child. I've been married 20 years. I have a 13-year-old bonus child. He's about to be 14 years old. He's my world now, but baby, at first, who? At first, I wasn't thinking about a baby. I ain't care nothing about the baby. The baby, baby, listen, I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest with you. It, it, it takes a strong person to have, you know, their husband make a child on them, and you still end up loving the baby. I'm talking about to a point to where the, the mother has stated to me before, I know that if I leave this earth, my son would be good because you love my son like, you know, you love your own. But it wasn't like that at first. I'm, I'm just, I, I, think, I believe I'm helping somebody with this really quickly. It wasn't like that at first. And me and my husband decided to work our marriage out and, you know, we kept, we kept going um, and everything after that. But that wasn't the, the story. I have four children. So I have three birth children, one bonus child. I have three boys and then I have one girl. And I remember at seven years old, my daughter, Diamond, there's a viral video out there, um, was speaking in tongues at seven years old. I'm talking about pray for people, have a heart just like mine, man. She's so good to her friends. She spoil them. She, she buy them. You know, they can't do the things for her that she can do for them, but she check up on them. She's so good to people. She has the heart, I'm telling you, of minds, right? God's on his truth. And with my daughter, right? At one point, I remember her coming to me. She said, I want to be a pastor. At one point, she wanted to preach. I'm talking about praise dance. Let me let me bless somebody whose child might be going through it right now. Watch this. She wanted to do all these things. My daughter was, she was born early. So she was a preemie, you know, coming up in school. She had, you know, issues with, you know, studying and staying focused when she read things and things like that. She had like little issues, right? On top of that, um, I thought that money, hear me and hear me well, when I was in the world, I thought that long as my kids got everything they wanted, long as I was out here selling drugs, doing fraud, putting my kids in name brand shoes and clothes, not thinking about the aftermath of what would happen if I would get caught. So I kept getting caught. You know what I mean? Um, 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 and kept going to um, being locked up and, you know, being away from my kids. And it, it was really, my boys was good. But when it came to my daughter, it was, it was weighing on her so bad. She started failing in school. She started going out fighting everybody. She, I, I, at one point I got to put her in boxing, you know what I'm saying? So she can get, release her anger. And she was fighting, fighting everybody. She was angry with the world. She was mad with everybody. You get what I'm saying? So this little girl who was praying and she was speaking in tongues and this and she started developing her own testimony this is for the ones who are great parents but your kids gonna still develop their own testimony it's nothing you did wrong they gotta go through like you went through right so after that going through my daughter phone one day y'all better check these children phone and I'm getting back to the subject but I want to bless somebody with this I'm going through my daughter phone one day and I see okay now she's sleeping with women and I'm, I'm saying to myself, this is why generational curses are real. This is why my shirt say I'm a generational curse breaker. Um, I started, uh, that was my story. I was angry. I was selling drugs. My mama, you know, wasn't in my life alone because um, she ended up passing away when I was young. I turned to the streets. My dad in and out of federal prison. I'm angry with the world because my brother took my virginity when I was a child and, you know, raped me. I'm angry. I'm out fighting everybody. I'm on drugs. I'm this and this and that. So I'm like, okay, devil, I see you. I see what you're doing. Like you trying to, you know what I'm saying? I see this thing about to be generational. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about dealing with women. Getting upset, she started smoking weed, you know, being angry, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, following my footsteps. Do I got some people, some parents who are on here, 
um, and, and it seems like their child is following their footsteps. Could you be bold enough so people won't think I'm just crazy and it's only me? And could you drop that in the comment section? I bind, I, I mean, I break generational curses. That means you breaking that curse off to your child. Some of y'all, it might be the fact that you've been with two, three different men and been in so many fair relationships and you see it on your daughters. I'm just saying, I just need somebody to just put in the comment section so people will think I ain't crazy. So I'm having a talk with my daughter the other day. And I say to her, I say, baby, you know, I, 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 there's no way I'm going to love on the people of God who was dealing, you know, women sleeping with women. I got patience. You know, I love on them. I talk to them. Other homosexuals. I was a homosexual for 15 years, you know, and, and there's no way I'm going to have patience and preaching to people that God still love you and don't have love for my own daughter. No, no, no. I don't even play like that. So the other day I'm talking to my daughter and I just, you know, I always told her she's beautiful. I always told her she's more than enough and different things like that. And I'm saying to her, baby, I just, I just want to make sure your life is on track because it ain't the same for you in this cold world like it is for men. Men get away with some things. It's different for women. So I'm just telling my daughter, oh God, God bless all the parents who are putting our break generational curses because the enemy will try with your children. And you know, there sometimes she would apply for jobs and she would be like, Mama, I just I just don't understand. She was a preemie. She can't help it. You get what I'm saying? That she was born early. I I didn't, you know, I wasn't on drugs when I had my child, but I was out selling drugs. I was up, I wasn't getting the proper sleep. I was, you know what I'm saying? So she was born at nine months, but she was only one pound. You know what I'm saying? So that came with complications. You know what I'm saying? And uh she would say to me, Mom, I'm applying for jobs and I'm doing this and I'm doing that, ma, and it just seemed like nobody went to hire me. And I just, I say, baby, let me tell you something. You take the bad things, right? And you 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 take the bad things and you use it for your good, okay? Nobody don't want to hire you, baby. You start a business. You start a business. You know, just encouraging her, just different things like that. You know what I'm saying? And this is what we got to do. When the enemy throw you in the pit, I don't care what it may be. Some of y'all, I counsel people, they 40, 50 years old, and they say, all my life I've been told I was stupid because I got a problem reading it. People would take advantage of me and take my social security and disability check. These what grown people telling me. I'm talking about grown people telling me. All my life, I, I, I ain't never tried to get a job. I ain't never tried to do nothing because all my life, they done picked at me and called me stupid and just different things like that. You know what I'm saying? That's a pit. That's a pit. When I say today's message is my potential pulled me out the pit. Y'all got to catch this in the spirit. Yo, pit may be all my life. I've, 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 I've allowed women, men to do me any kind of way. Any kind of way, because I just wanted to have somebody for myself that won't walk out of me. Do you know there are young girls that are literally having babies right now because they just want something to love them back? Okay. I'm going to let that sink in. I'm going to let that sink in. Do you know? I'm talking to all 400 of y'all on TikTok and everybody over on Facebook too. Do you know? That there are little girls, 12, 13, 14 years old, having babies because their mindset is, I just want something that's going to love me back. My mom and daddy gave up on me. I just want something to love that's going to love me back. Don't even know how to be a mother. Don't know how to clean themselves properly. Don't know how to be a mother to a child, but they just want something that's going to love them back. Do it and not walk out on them. Today's message, people of God, was my potential pulled me out of the pit. To you, the one that's watching this video, because I got to get out of here. I, I don't care what you are going through. The Lord is, you better hear me and hear me well. The Lord is saying to you, the one that's watching this video. You are in a pit right now and I've allowed it. I didn't allow you to go through what you're going through right now to punish you. No, you're thinking wrong, says the Lord. He said, my beloved daughter, my beloved son, I'm allowing you to go through these trials and tribulations right now inside this pit because I need you to unlock the potential in yourself. You are in the pit looking up, waiting for somebody to throw you a rope, and help is not coming. 
The church can't help you. Your friends can't help you. Your significant other can't help you. Your praying mama won't be able to help you. This journey that you are on right now with these specific trials and tribulations, people of God, is a you and God thing. I allowed you to be in the pit to show you your potential. Today's message was my potential pulled me out of the pit. Who am I speaking to? I don't care. And I'm going to let you guys go. I don't care how bad the devil tries to attack you. You better go shy. You better hear me and hear me well. I don't care how bad the enemy tries to attack you. To you, the one that's watching this video, baby. I don't care how bad the devil tries to attack you. Jesus Christ. You better have the potential to bounce back. You, you, the one that's watching this video, you better have the potential to bounce back. You better have the potential to say, I'm okay with you not helping me because I know this is a me and God thing. Do you know how many times we get disappointed because the people we thought was going to show up never showed up? Baby, this is a you and God thing. They weren't supposed to show up. If, watch this, people keep coming to your rescue, you would even never knew you had it in you to overcome that thing. Somebody put that in the comment section. I'm an overcomer. Put it in the comment section. I'm an overcomer. I need you to get this in your mind. The reason, people of God, that you are in the pit, it's not because God is not, it's trying to punish you. I don't know who needed that confirmation. God is not trying to punish you. Psalms 40 verse 1 through 3 says this. I waited and waited on God. At last he looked and he finally listened to me. He lifted me out of the pit. He pulled me from the deep mud. He snatched me up out of the ditch. And then he stood me up on a rock to make sure I would never slip again. Somebody put in the comment section, I won't be this low for long. Oh, drop that really quickly. I, I won't be this low for long. Drop that really quickly. Who is this for? You won't be, watch this. You won't be this low for long. Somebody drop that in the comments. I won't be going through what I'm going through for much longer. Why? Because God is putting me in a place. Watch this. Where my potential is about to unlock doors for me. God is putting me in a place, people of God. Who am I speaking to? Where I'm next in line, watch this, for a breakthrough. God is putting me in a place where I no longer got to depend on others' help. Who is this for? My potential pulled me out of the pit. Psalms 40 verse 1 through 3 says that when God pulled you out of it this time, he going to place you on a rock where you'll never be this low again. Your enemies better be aware. People of God, I'm getting ready to ask you to do something. The first thing I want you to do is begin to pray and ask God, should you sow into this message? Everybody pit is something different. Your pit might be your finances. Your pit might be your marriage. Your pit might be a court case. Your pit might be a health. Your pit might be some keys you need. Your pit might be your mental state. Your pit might be your children. Everybody is in a different, watch this, is in a different pit. But today's message, people of God, was my, oh Jesus Christ, my potential pulled me out of the pit. I am decreeing this, declaring this, watch this, that you won't have to struggle with this thing another day longer. Why? Because Psalms 40 verse 1 through 3 says that when God pulled you out the pit this time, he's placing you on a rock where you will never slip again. The devil may have caught you slipping. But he's placing you on a rock where you will never slip again. People of God, the first thing I want you to do is pray and ask God, should you sow into my ministry? Do not sow, people of God, without God, my God, giving you the yes. The second thing I want you to do is not pay attention to the comments. Because the same people that will tell you don't sow a seed are not there with you when you fight these demons by yourself. Go to God for yourself. We're getting ready to sow a Psalms 40 and 13. I mean, 40 verse one through three seed. There are some of you that are going to sow $24 and three cents. Come on. As you begin to sow the $24 and three cents, I want you to put in the memo section. I got the potential to overcome it. I don't know what your it may be. The, the letters I and T is in the word pit. 
So that's why you're saying it. I got your, oh Jesus, I got potential to overcome it, whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. So there are some of you that are going to sell $24.03 for you and $24.03 for each one of your children. You say, I, I, I need the devil to bless my family, period. There are some of you right now, people of God, you're going to sell the $24.03 for you and the $24.03 for your business. Some of you are going to sell the $24.03 for your son's court case and you're going to sell $24.03 because you need the keys to be released to the, to the car. But I want you to put in the memo section. Come on, there's a bunch of people sewing. Let me show y'all. People are sewing. So you don't think this again. There's a bunch of people sewing right now. $24.03. And watch this, people of God. As you begin to sew, I want you to put in the comments that I got the potential to overcome it. I don't want, watch this, people of God. I don't want you to sew into my ministry unless your faith. It's lining up with what I am saying. Come on. Begin to sow. I'm, a, I'm an overcomer. Uh, th th this week I've been at the lowest point of my life. Uh, I'm an overcomer. If you are sowing, the phone number is pinned to the bottom of the screen. This is for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Venmo. 754-246-0580. You know that this message was for you. You know if you needed this message. Come on, begin to sow. Pray about it first and then sow. Pray about it first and then sow. Come on, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. $24.03. Come on. Some of you say I'm sowing $24.03. Uh, 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 and then I'm sowing another $24.03 for, 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 for God to approve the next application. Come on, I want you to begin to sow. I want you to begin to sow. I want you to begin to sow. 754-246-0580. There are some of you who say, Dr. Shakira McFadden, if I sow right now, for every issue and every problem I got, I'll be sowing all day. So I just want to sow an all-around seed of $124.03. And this seed is because I need God to do it in so many areas of my life. Come on, I want you to begin to sow. I want you to begin to sow. Come on, there I want you to begin to sow. Yes, Cash App is 754-246-0580. Yes, Dr. Shakira M will pop up. Dr. Shakira M will pop up. Hold on. Oh, God. Y'all is crazy. Why are y'all going back and forth on Facebook, you guys? Come on, y'all. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Some of them be fake pages, so if somebody says something to you, don't get offended. It's okay. Don't get offended. Okay. Okay. The woman of God say, I'm sewing for my keys. The woman, okay. Okay. Um. Apple Pay is the only thing with a different phone number. With Apple Pay, it's a different number. 954-245-7379. Hold on one second. Let me pin it for you on Facebook. On TikTok, it's already to the top of the screen. I turned on the button so y'all can see people are sewing. Whenever you get a da -da -da -da, that's 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 Zelle, and then you get the cash apps, that's cash apps. Let me let me take it off. Hold on one second. 754-246-0580. Apple Pay is a different number. If you sold, I want you to comment below I sold, because there's a bunch of people sewing. There's a bun there's a bunch of people sewing. You gotta go to God for yourself. Y'all cannot be, if y'all get a vibrating, it's because it's people sewing. I took off the thing. If you, you have to go to God for yourself. You have to go to God for yourself. That's why I always tell people, do not sow people of God unless the Lord is telling you to give. Yes. Yes. If you need an invoice, text the word invoice to 754-246-0580. If you're doing cash out, put in the full phone number. And to Dr. Shakira M. popped up. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for every person who did it. 
have it to give genuinely on today. I ask that you bless them, God. Bless them financially, Lord God. You know the needs. You know the things they're going through. Father, I pray for every person who put a seed in the ground. I ask that you begin to replace the seed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 1,000 fold. Allow it to hit their account. 1,000 fold in the name of Jesus. God, you know every issue. You know every problem. You know everything that is keeping them bound to a pit. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you are releasing them from the struggle. You're releasing them from the very thing that has been keeping them bound. In the, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hold on, woman of God. I can check if I got it. Alona Udell, I received your seed. Uh, LaDonna, I received your seed. LaDonna Ford. Nadine, I received your seed. Crystal Lewis, I received your seed. Sh Sh Shakria. Oh, that's different. S H A K R I A. That's like my name. Shakria Face Sun. I received your seed. Angela Brooks, I received your seed. Emerald. Hold on. Eartha Cord. I receive your seed. Um, Emerald Johnson. I receive your seed. Natasha. I receive your seed. Dara Stewart. I receive your seed. Brittany Black. I receive your seed. Wasan. Wasan. Hopefully I said it right. J-U-A-S-A-U-N. Um, I receive your seed. It's a it's it's a bunch of people sewing right now. Adri Adrian J. See, receive it's a bunch of people sewing. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Tune in tonight on TikTok at 10.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And on Facebook, it will be 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Go ahead and screenshot on TikTok. If you need the ways to give and everybody on Facebook, it's the phone number at the bottom also. Yeah, you can, Yolanda. Okay. I love you guys. I love you guys. I have to go. Everybody on Facebook, I love you guys so much. I have to go. Tune in tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern.